everybody. Welcome to the Season Butcher. Today, I'm going to show you how to make bacon. Just not any bacon. You know what I mean? When you walk into the store and when you get in there, you're going in to buy a pack of bacon and you look at it and they have all the different selections and anywhere from that $12 to $13 a pound bacon to that three, four dollars a pound bacon. We all really want that 11, 12 dollars a pound bacon because man does that nice thick cracked black pepper. Oh, you know it just looks awesome that bacon. But you know what we do? We settle. We settle for that cheap bacon just because you know what? We, we can't afford it. Most of us can't afford that to buy that all the time. So here I'm going to show you how you can make that $12, $13 a pound bacon right in your own home and do it yourself. You know exactly what you're getting, how it's made, how it's done, and the satisfaction of doing it for a quarter of the cost with just as much flavor. So let's hop into the video today. What I got is I got pork belly. Look at these. Oh, <laughs> these pork bellies are awesome. So what we're gonna do is I'm starting with four pieces of pork belly and you can see the nice marbling of fat right in them. And what I'm gonna do to make bacon is I'm using a ham and bacon cure from the Season Butcher. Now you can find this product on www.theseasonbutcher.com. Also, when you go on there, we will have step-by-step -step directions that will also walk you through it so you can make this all in your own home. Now, when you go to make this bacon, you're gonna need a big pot because in order to make bacon, you're gonna brine it. So this ham and bacon brine, the seasoning calls for three gallons of water. Now, I already have two gallons in here. So all I use, and it doesn't have to be exact math, is I'm using the, <laughs> the Kool-Aid pitcher from upstairs, and I just measure out three gallons of liquid. So now, the next thing that I'm gonna do after you have three gallons of water put in your pot is I'm gonna put my seasoning in. Now, this seasoning, I'm gonna put it right in the water and ooh, I can smell it. It has smoke in it. Now this seasoning I had it open once already, taking pictures of it, so I had it vacuum sealed. That's why it's a little hard right now. So once I put this in here, this will dilute. Oh yeah, oh God, does that smell good. Oh yeah, there we go. Then all you're gonna do is take a whisk after you've got your seasoning in there. I just use your regular whisk and all I'm gonna do is make sure that all your seasoning dissolves into your water. Now your water is gonna turn kind of a reddish pinkish color. That's perfectly normal. There we go. So I got this good and mixed up. All I'm going to do is take my pork bellies and I'm going to slide them in there and keep them standing up. Yeah. Man, does that look good. Ooh. Ooh. We'll see. if I don't know if I'm going to fit this last one in here. There we go. Yeah. Easy slide it in. And there. Now we're brining. So there you have it. 
just going to let these sit, let these brine for about four to five days. Hey everybody, welcome back. Now, after it was in that brine, four to five days, we pulled it out, thoroughly washed it, because you're going to try to get all that brine off that meat. If you don't, this is what it looks like. See that extra salt right there? That's for some reason when I was washing it, I missed this corner. That's what that is. What I'm going to do with these end pieces is I'm going to make some homemade baked beans with them. Works great. So we thoroughly wash it, set it on racks, pat it dry with a little paper towel. You want your bacon nice and dry the outside so when you hang it in the smoker, it can absorb the smoke right away. You don't have to, you know, it. the meat does not soak up the smoke if it has moisture on the outside. It has to dry first, get that moisture off, and then your meat can start soaking up that smoke. Oh yeah. We're about halfway through checking on our pork belly. Look at that nice color of the smoke coming in. Mmm, that looks good. So then after I smoked it to 145 degrees, I pulled it out of that smoker, and then I just let it air dry for a little bit, put it in my refrigerator, and I let that sit for a minimum of one night, one day. Let it set 24 hours. Let that meat set up, get nice and firm, then you can slice it. And you'll have this nice, beautiful bacon slice. So, if you like what you see, want to get more, uh, see more videos that I do, like, subscribe to the channel, and check us out. All the products you see here in this video, you can find them at www.theseasonbutcher.com. That's our website. Feel free, give us any comments in our comment section on our channel. Also, I challenge you guys, let us know what videos you want to see, what products you want to see us make, so then we can help you how to make them. Any little tricks of the trade that you want to see that we can show you, just let us know.